Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege with you today uh, and today is a 4v3 Siege of Rome and we have three Roman armies of course defending the Eternal City itself against four Barbarian armies we have uh, Arverni army, I think we have two Galatian armies and we have a Tireless army here today um, I've been told this is a very good defence and uh, by Rome obviously and it's going to be an excellent siege battle, so I definitely recommend you check it out to the end. Um, if you do enjoy the battle and are enjoying the content at the moment on the uh, channel, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave uh, well a comment as well to show your support. Uh, always appreciated. But as uh, we've got a few fireballs here coming down onto the Gallic Hunters, they're just waiting in this uh, sort of bridge, I guess. But, I mean, this is kind of a kill zone here. This like front gate here is a bit of a kill zone. You can just fire archers off. From either wall, if anything assaults from the front, it is pretty nasty for the attackers. But they have managed to get some chosen swords onto the wall. We've got some uh, chosen swordsmen here on the wall, fighting some archers. Oh, as like the camera just jutters about a bit. But, yeah, so I mean, I imagine these guys are probably gonna probably win quite easy. I mean, it looks like there's some uh, legionnaires coming up here as well. What's it gonna be? Some Evercarty cohort, a good unit to send up against chosen swords. That is excellent. Over on this far flank, it looks like uh, we've got Galatia already inside. How has he got so many units on low? Did they just, like, go through lots of traps that they shouldn't have? I don't know. Or did they go through... Ah, did they go through the gate and it wasn't... I don't know. I'm not quite entirely sure. Oh, no, they died outside. All of them died. Maybe just the towers? I don't know. But well, they've lost a lot of troops already, have uh, Galatia. And they were, but they're already inside. And Tylus is joining him on the inside as well. Um, so, I mean, that's going to really put Rome's defense in a bit of a predicament. They're probably going to take this uh, sort of section quite easily in the north, as you can see on the mini-map. They're probably going to take this area here quite quickly. Um, Rome's already falling back. Certainly the uh, main player who sent this in, uh, marked in yellow. Yeah, this was sent in by a member of the Discord. So if you want to send in your own replays um, that then may feature on the channel, please do remember to uh, join the Discord, uh, which is in the description down below. But yeah, so that first unit of Chosen Swordsmen onto the walls and died instantly as Evercarty came up to uh, squash them. But they did get quite a few of those... Oh no, actually, where are those archers? Did they get them? They got some of them. They got about 20 of them. But uh, yeah, I mean, these uh, poor, poor Chosen Swords are going to die. I mean, it actually looks like I thought these uh, archers were coming up, but they're not. And they're burning this siege tower, so this might not get used again. But there is some other breaches being made anyway. It does not matter. Chosen Sword's already in here. They'll do some damage. I saw earlier that they were firing artillery over here while uh, I was waiting for it to kind of get to an interesting spot. And they destroyed this bit of the wall here, but it did no damage at all. This being destroyed, it's kind of a bit of a waste of ammo. So that could be pretty big for Rome. Already ammo being wasted. But there's a lot of uh, cheap units over here by Rome. That's going to be the first one. We've got Vigiles. We've got Histati. These guys are going to be the first to defend. You can always see these guys like these vigilates is almost like the town watcher Rome. Just getting ready to hold. They're like, oh god, what happened to all our legions? Where are they? But they are here. There is quite a lot of legionnaires dotted around. Lots of Evercarty, armoured legionnaires, legionary cohort. They'll be able to hold for a while against this horde of barbarians. Who look like they're going to come through the door. Or the, the door. The gate in a moment. Um, and we've got some armoured legionnaires ready. Some very elite units already getting sent in first. Um, is the gate being destroyed? No, it's not actually been knocked once yet. But it looks like uh, these uh, Chosen Swords are having a rough time against Evercarty Cohort here. As they battle it out on the walls. As you should. I mag imagine if Rome was at this point. Like, at this high period of, like, when the Legionnaires are, like, where well, the Legions are full of, like, heavy infantry units, Rome was under siege. Be kind of a pretty cool epic scenario, but I can never see it happening. They just Rome just stomped anyone on the field at this point in history. Look at the amount of legionnaires coming off. Oh dear, this is not archers, is it? It is. This is not good. So, it looks like one of the uh, well, the Arverni players got Gallic hunters coming straight off the wall, then coming like like onto the wall and then off again. And they're getting cut down by legionnaires on here. And this unit here, Gallic Hunters, was at like 90. It's now down to 80. And it's going to go dropping in a moment. The gates have been destroyed. Um, what looks like it's going to be first through. Looks like it's going to be some chosen spears. 
Yeah, very bad at Chosen Space. We've got some Gallic Hunters here as well. Um, I mean, Gal Galatia really needs to get a move on and start pushing these uh, Legionnaires to come and help support Arverni uh, get through this gate. Tireless also, they both need to be pushing pretty hard, these two Galatian players. Uh, and the Tireless player, just to support Arverni, who's really just taking on, well, the hardest defense probably at Rome is this main gate. Like, Rome's, uh, well, they're not even decided to attack down here. There is actually a combat outside. I didn't even realize this. Rome has sent units out to go and fight. Uh, his chosen swords are going to mop at these, vigil oh, these auxiliaries, sorry. Um, but, I mean, he's got archers out here. Do they run out of ammo? Surely not. Do they get caught? Again, surely not. But, I mean, these uh, triaria are actually, well, they're winning decisively, but it's probably because they're fighting these uh, Syrians. We've got Astarte here coming to help against the chosen swords. I don't think this will be enough to beat these two units of Chosen Swords. Uh, it seems like certainly a bit of a waste, but an interesting tactic. I don't know whether... Ro yeah, Rome must have sent these guys out, obviously. Uh, a peculiar decision. I won't lie. Trying to see what the benefits are. They're already outnumbered by, like, number of armies. And, like, balance power is not in their favor. Sending Cav out might have been a good idea. They have got Cav in the sea. I have seen some. They've got Sokia Extraordinary, uh, Equite Extraordinary. Yeah, these Triari are losing as well. They should form square. Um, are these... It looks like these Chosen Swords. Are they trying to get away? I wonder if they're trying to break away to go and kill those Triari in the rear. I wonder. But, I mean, they have damaged a lot of Arverni already. A lot of Arverni has died at this gate. Oh my gosh, there you go. Arverni is really trying to push through. Look at the sheer amount of Legionnaires in this uh, breach. Um, now Glacier is joining the fight. I mean, he's also got Auxiliary Archers here. This is really good. I mean, the Archers should just duke it out. Uh, well, certainly if you're Rome. Because the Syrians are just so much better in quality and armor than the um, Gallic Hunters. So you would win that fight every time. So you could nullify those Archers, which the Romans really need to do. And then they could use uh, their archers to, well, do what they're doing now, which is focus down some heavy infantry. Interesting to see who's winning this fight, uh, even. Actually, well, it says the Legionnaire cohort is losing, uh, which is kind of interesting. Very heavy melee against very heavy melee. I'm kind of surprised. Not really getting jabbed in the back too much, but here comes some more Legionnaires. Yeah, they certainly getting focused down on these units, and they're still... Saying combat even. Jeez. They are tough, those Galician Legionnaires. I'd say every time they are on it, one of the most overpowered units I'd say in the game. Because they're so cheap and they're so good. Um, and Galatia can spam them. Like I said, they cost like 800 a pop. Like each unit 800. It's a very, very good unit. Um, but here we go. Yeah, more Chosen Swords. I don't know why they carried on this assault over here. I know it kind of keeps pressure. They have nearly killed off a couple of these units. The archers here are just going to keep focusing down, and they should. Any Gallic hunters that just walk out here. Cavalry is actually joining the fight over here. I don't think it's really needed. This archer unit has actually... This archer unit did have ammo. Why did they not fire all the ammo? Are they f like at the Chosen Swords before going in, which aren't even really fighting the Triarii, actually. <laughs> um, but the Noble Horse is just going to go and run them down, those 39 poor, poor men. Um, yeah, these Chosen Swords units, I didn't even actually pay any attention. <laughs> Probably want to give the order to actually attack. But oh, this is kind of a cool angle. See what's going on on top of the gate. Not much has changed. The legionnaires still holding the ground. I mean, yeah, certainly a good angle for the archers. You can see off the back there. If they could fire onto the top of this uh, wall, they could murder a lot of those uh, chosen swords. Which seems like they haven't brought any oath one. Chosen sword is their best unit, and they are. They are focusing down these guys. Um, who are losing, dis or one of the units is losing decisively, which is probably due to the ar that archer fire. And there you go, oh, and that's the unit there of Gallic Hunters routing as well. But I mean, Galatia could, oh yeah, see this, again, Armoured Legionnaires losing, or they were losing for a moment, they're now combat even. But I mean, they really need to, um, like, push hard to Galatia, because he's clearly got the better of most of these Roman units here. I don't know why, if it's just support from the Arverni, or what, Veteran Legionnaires going up against Galatian Legionnaires. That should be a close fight, again. But the fighting in the streets of Rome is truly underway. I mean, there's at least half a dozen engagement now in the streets. The citizens have been told to stay inside or join the fight if needs be. I'm sure the, 
I'm sure if your city was under siege, what what would you do? Would you hide inside or you join the fight? Pick up a sword or a spear or anything, a brick. Go and fight the invaders. I think I'd certainly fight the invaders. Get on top of a roof. Start throwing tiles down or bricks. And just pick pick people off. Probably a good way to fight them. If you're, certainly if you're not good with a sword or don't have one. And you've got endless supply of bricks if you just take your house apart. <laughs> because otherwise the invaders will when they sack the place. Or if they don't settle it. Um, I mean the Gauls did uh, sack Rome once. I can't remember exactly on the date. But it was certainly like six, 700. Um, no, like five, 500 BC or something like that. I don't know. It was a very like long t 400 BC. I don't know. It was a long time before Rome became a superpower. It was by the Senons. Who are in Rise of the Republic. DLC, they, uh, yeah, they sack Rome at one point. And that's when Camillus gets a recall. So it must be around that time. So it might be around, like, 300, 400 BC. But yeah, these legionnaires here are having a really rough time. They're still losing here. Like, the sheer amount of bodies. Ah, there's artillery firing. I wonder if that's forcing back Rome. Rome has actually gone into full retreat. Wow, because of one bit of artillery. He should have kept a few units here, because now he's just condemned this unit here. Wow, he's allowed Arvoni to come inside. That, I think that's a poor move by the defenders. He should have kept units, like, at the wall, possibly. Um, or, like, at the gate, sorry. Like, kept a few, just so it was, like, enough so the artillery wouldn't get easy blob shots. But then, then pull the majority of them back. Like, they've got Sokiai Hestati in there. Send them in. You've got a general here. You've got Spear Nobles already involved. Send your units back in now, and you can... Uh, Get this unit out of, like, catch it out. Because the uh, artillery here for uh, Glacier is probably low on ammo. Because that's the one firing at that useless bit of wall. And it's not got a good angle. Are they going to actually engage these Legionnaires? I don't know if they are. Well, they're they engaging engaging. So, uh, this might be the remains of the unit, actually. But Archer's firing in Glacier and Legionnaires. Also just fire, throwing the Javis, killing off Legionnaires of their own. The Romans are just like, God, why do we teach these Le uh, these Galatians how to fight? Yeah, they're retreating through this unit. Uh, just take out this unit, I'd say. Sp he's literally got you here. Wow, Rome is in full retreat. Surely not. I was going to say, now he's turning around to come and deal with this unit of uh, Spear Nobles. If he can take out the Spear Noble unit, I know there's another like couple of armies to go, but if you can route Arverni, you can then just juke out with... Uh, Galatia, and you probably could do okay. So how's Tylus doing against Rome? I'm sure. Well, I'm sure he's doing fine because he's just fighting Hastati. Yeah, and I'm sure he's got his tribal warriors. Another very strong unit. Oh my gosh! I did not see this flank going on. No wonder Rome's falling back because he's got to defend loads of other spots. Um, but yeah, here we go. We've got tribal warriors uh, coming in. We look, look like we've got more legionnaires. So many legionnaires. Um, we've got cavalry over here. I'm pretty sure the Romans do have an elephant unit. They have some auxiliary African elephants. They will be huge. They maybe need to route uh, a large chunk of the uh, attackers. But they could probably deal with... Uh, the Like the current army over here for Rome probably could deal with a lot of this... Uh, the stuff that it's facing currently. I would believe so. I don't know why they don't choke off this spot. I know it's another place they've got to defend, but... I want to try and save some of these units. They're kind of condemning quite a lot of Astarte units. Which can be useful. Late game flanking forces. But here we go. Look at that. A sea of tribe warriors. And they're going to be up against the best of the best. The Praetorian Guard. Are they going to engage? Surely they will. But I mean, imagine being a Praetorian and just seeing that. You would be, you'd be scared. Hold the line. The Centurion is going to be stern with his men. Not an inch back. The Emperor expects victory. And there we go. In they go. Jeez, these guys are in for a rough fight. As the sun goes down on Rome. The battle intensifies. But yeah, I mean, that is... How many? That's like five units there of uh, tribal warriors that the Praetorians going to go up against. I'm not liking their odds. They've got another Praetorian unit here, but they're going to need some more, I think. Might need some more. But, I mean, they've got archer support as well. That's good. Um, those archers will come in handy. But these 
These tribal warriors have got a chevron to start off with as well. Some of them do anyway. They're very heavy. It's going to be hard. They're going to have to get some generals, I think. Uh, Oost one here. Yeah, they're still actually being held up by this Astarte. This is really good for the Astarte, I guess. And for Rome. But, I mean, it's not going to be long. And you can see in the background there, a lot of legionnaires, just uh, Gla Galatian legionnaires getting ready to flank round. But, I mean, yeah, these Oastworm will batter through in no time. But, I mean, it's also good, I guess, for Rome because the general unit, he's not lost any men, but he's at least getting into combat. He's possibly weakening his unit. I mean, the next line of defense isn't anything imposing either. It's Vigiles, Hastati. I mean, he's got some legionary cohort here, and veteran legionnaires. Very tired. Don't know how. They'd be probably, like, so tired from a tree. This is not good. This is really not good. Um... This blobbing, just, no. No. Um, spin over, I mean, he could kill this Arverni general, but at this point, Arverni's knocked out. They did really well on killing Arverni early at the gates. But, I mean, they need to push hard. I mean, if they can get a unit around here, they can possibly get the RT, um, like the Onager here. I think, luckily, that is now out of ammo. Like, they are going to be thanking so many gods that that is the case. But, I mean, yeah, these Romans stop blobbing. A, because you make yourself a massive target for all these archers here. And also, you can flank round. Like, I don't know why this Triarii unit's still here. He could tr charge into the back of these Glacian Legionnaires. And he could do a lot of damage. I know it's spears, but just rear charging stuff and surrounding stuff is going to do well. Like, these Glacian Legionnaires are winning. They're beating the Evocati Cohort. That is a worrying sign. Evocati Cohort, I think, are definitely one of the more elite units that Rome has brought today. They are going to need... To do some flanking. They need rear archer fire. They're going to need a lot. They're going to need a lot of luck. They're going to need the gods on their side of Rome. They are in trouble. Yeah, these Galatian legionnaires are cutting down Romans like they don't even care that they're there. They're having a really rough time. I mean, they have, they're coming to Arverni's aid now. But yeah, here you go. This unit that should have engaged a lot long, longer. Oh dear, ages ago. We'll go with ages ago. A long time ago is what I think I was trying to say, but I'm not quite sure. Um, it's now being engaged by 43 men, and these 43 men they'll hold for a little while. Um, they'll kill a few guys. But all it's just doing is allowing these other two fresh units to just mop up the Romans here. And then this area of Rome again is lost. I don't know why they have an auxiliary unit all the way over here. This is 136 men that might be needed for that final defense. I don't know why they sent men out there to die as well. They look like they've just finished them off. But Rome has so many units here. Ally is not, whoever this is playing as this Rome player is not doing his allies any favor. Just blobbing up. He could certainly mi finish off Galatia, this Galatian army here, and then it's evens it out ever so slightly, possibly. I don't know. I think there's a bit of uh, arrogance going on as some of the Roman players thinking that they're going to win this quite easily, but it's certainly not the case. I mean, how are the Praetorians doing? They don't look like they're, yeah, they're not doing so hot. I think they've fallen back a bit. 104. I mean, they've only lost 60 men, and they look like they're routing quite a lot here. That's a good sign. But now archers or slingers are coming up. And that's a really good angle, actually, for the slingers. Like, just on top of the hill, firing down. Just hit the backs of these lines. Hit the back unit of Praetorians. Or the uh, archers all the way over there. That's an even better target. You're two units against that one. You'll uh, mince them up quite quickly, even if you have, like, no ammo. Or no armor. I should say. But it looks like they're going to fall back and just let the uh, slingers just shoot the uh, front lines of infantry. Um, if I was the archers here, I'd start firing at those slingers. You can kill them off a lot quicker. What else have we got in here? We've got Noble Hall. Okay, they've got their cavalry inside as well. They've got a fair bit of cavalry, actually, for attackers. Um, what else have we got here? We've got more Noble Horse. Jeez, and there you go. Pop a rally. And the, uh, this Roman player here is having a really rough time because he's making it hard for himself. Again, here. Engage this unit. Just either going for the rear. You've got reserves here, armored legionnaires. You push this unit forward. 
go and threaten the general or some rear, and then also do the same with this armored legionnaire. I mean, in fairness, and he's got units here that can de defend this spot, which is still a worry. He needs to get these units off the wall, does this player, and uh, send them down to help. But I mean, they've cleared up uh, what's left here. It's not looking good. Galatia has saved Arverni's ass, or what's left of Arverni. These Romans are getting beaten up. And they're falling back. I don't know why. Why are you falling back to? Falling back's also mean you're gonna lose more men. Like falling out with this back out with this blob's not a great idea. Especially if you're just gonna stand them here. Like that unit's lost only three. We could lose more, it could have been a whole lot worse. And he's just falling back into another combat. Yeah. That's an that's an interesting move, to be honest. Over on this top side. Where uh, I'm presume the elephants are somewhere around here. Are they back here still. Good to see they're still fresh. And they got cavalry as well. Fire is coming in. Praetorians in combat. More legionnaires. There's so many Glacian legionnaires. They just need to. I mean, they could beat this Glacian legionnaire, could this Praetorian guard. I mean, they're going to beat this one um, with Praetorian guard. There's so many more to come. Look at the sheer amount of legionnaires waiting for them. This is insane. And they're not running out of reserves anytime soon. These legionnaires just need to engage. Just engage. You're going to win this fight. I think in a straight up fight, Evakai will beat tribal warriors. I'm pretty sure of it. And you've got Praetorians to help you. They're actually winning over here now. They've pushed back some tribal warriors. How the Hastati did it, probably to the sacrifice of the Vigiles, who are, yeah, very much gone. We'll put it like that. They are very much old news. This just looks glorious. Defend to the last man. There you go with the beautiful suns coming down and the temples around it. The Hastati hold. They're going to send forward some auxiliaries, I guess, to just harass them, make sure they don't, don't go back without a few more casualties. What are they shooting? Shoot the slingers, if anything. These slingers need killing off. Even if they have very little ammo, you're going to need every archer of your own to be focusing down infantry uh, in late game. So you don't really want archers left, and you don't want them to have archers in late game, or slingers in late game. But yeah, it looks like the attackers, are, apart from over here, are taking a bit of a rest. And in the north, there's still there's a bit of a skirmish. Certainly in the centre, there's a bit of a rest going on. I mean, it's kind of hectic here. Oh my gosh, there's so many units breaking. I mean, they're just getting focused down. They're just being left at the back. Send them in now. Like, what is this? He's falling back more troops. Armored Legion, why? Don't fall back. You. The chance to fall back's gone. I think this Roman player had to... Could have finished off these two armies uh, if he'd just committed more troops. I know, like, I just contradict myself with saying blobbing, but I was meaning, like, by committing, I mean, like, go around the flanks here. Um, just surround units. You do risk always being shot in the back, but it's risks like that that are going to win you battles. And look at this. This is a unit now of armored legionnaires. It's routing at 104, wavering at 104, 3, because it's been told to fall back. There's no time to fall back now. These units are condemned. So why you got to make sure you keep an eye on your lines. And here you go. What's this coming over? Some beaten up units coming to save the day. Whoever's defending here is Rome. Sadly is uh, not done. He uh, covered himself in glory. Or helped his teammates out very well. But yeah these armored legionnaires. You need to just hold here. With this armored legionnaire unit. Surround this unit. And just hold this sort of choke point here. Because they're in a real real state. Because otherwise this Roman defense is kind of gone. And then everything else after that is certainly in trouble. I mean in fairness all the glacier has to do is work its way up this street. But it does look like we're going to have a Roman general. We're going to have elephants and a cavalry unit coming around to come and help try and stabilize the side. Might do a good job might the elephants. There's a lot of units here that are beaten up. But I mean they've got to carry on beating them up. They've got to send more Romans in. They've got to send more legionnaires in to die. Sadly it is going to be to die because... I don't try um, because looking looking at this, this is what this Roman player is doing. Just letting them die like this. These poor legionnaires. They deserve better. 
It's probably why Rome's under siege, because players like <laughs> this commander's been in charge of all the legions in the defence up to Rome. It's a bit harsh. Uh, it, is, it is hard, obviously. Especially he's kind of getting double teamed, but he did have support from other player, uh, another player, but falling back and blobbing up weren't his uh, greatest or finest hours. And we all have bad games, so I can't be too harsh. But I mean, now you don't want to, he's just letting this unit get surrounded. Uh, you can't hold this whole stretch, so you might as well just re-engage here. And just hold them up to give the cavalry more time to come up and try and... Uh, do some damage. I don't even know if the general's dead. He's not even dead, is the Arvoni general. He's in his unit of 32. Somewhere. Um, but yeah, if I was the general of the cavalry, certainly I'd be sending them around to kill these Syrian archers. Maybe go after the noble horse general? I don't know whether they could take him. I mean, they're, surely they've seen like what's this, a mass of weak troops and cavalry. Uh, I think they have. They've seen Galatian legionnaires going over some Syrian archers. Interesting to see how Glacier and Arvoni respond to it, but yeah, this unit's about to go. It's wavering. No surprise, it's surrounded. But it won't give up. There you go. Oh, okay. As I say it, it gives up. Okay. Thanks, Legionnaires. Made me look real smart there. They've still got units out here of Arvoni. They might want to send them in. But yeah, here we go. We're going to have some Mercery Syrians coming up. And some uh, Galatian Legionnaires. And it's got all the cavalry over here, all the Sokiai, Equites uh, over here. It is pretty much uh, Code Red here, to be fair. I mean, I'd send these units up as well, this Vigilay unit, send it back up. 42 men holding this last defense isn't going to do anything. You might as well send it up with the main force. But I mean, this is looking pretty worrying now as well. These Praetorian guards are looking beat. They are looking very rough. We've got some, oh, this is Evercati, but still looking very rough. And there's still endless amounts of... Uh, Galatian Legionnaires here. It's not a good sign. Hold the line, Praetorians. You swore an oath to the Emperor and you'll keep your oath with your life. I'm sure at this point there's a lot of Romans already falling on their sword. They already know defeat is looking pretty imminent. You can see the amount of bodies. I mean, they pushed the... Credit to the Praetorians. They have actually pushed the uh, Galatians back here. But um, they're running out of troops now to carry on this push. Looks like this unit could do okay. But again, it's... Uh, they're running out of reserves. The Galatians can keep sending forward all theirs. I mean, thankfully for this army, you could say, I mean, there's already Syrians running out of ammo, but there's still plenty back here with ammo. And slingers. And we've got more sl uh, Syrians back there. Jeez, there is a... Uh, that's a worrying sign. And oh dear, a star to sign a break. And they've sent more stuff in now, but these legionnaires are out of, out of uh, formation. They're actually dying because of it. We've got more starts in there, but yeah, they're getting flanked, these uh, legionnaires. They're kind of at an angle. They might need to send more in there. It's not good. I mean, this is kind of the main supply of reserves now. It's only about three units left. It's a pretty dire situation Rome is in. They're going to need those elephants to pull off, which actually reminds me, how are they doing anything? They are in combat. The elephants are in combat, and they are routing stuff. This is good. If they can route a lot of this side, that will be really good. That will certainly relieve a lot of Roman units. And, uh, well, and obviously it will save... A lot of, uh, well, oh dear, that's not a good sign. Those elephants are definitely out of control. They're dying now. I'm sure they're out of control. Yeah. Get all Roman units away from that elephant unit. Shame they didn't route like here, because then they could have run anywhere and killed a lot of uh, Galatians and even... Well, Titus is over here now. They could get Galatians general here. They are fighting Allegatus and Soki Aquitai. And there's archers back here. I mean, they this could be this could be big if they can kill this Galatian general. I mean, this Galatian army's basically spent. He's only got a few units of tattered legionnaires left. He's got legionnaires still trying to kill his elephant units. Brave. 
They are, you know, these elephants are going to sort of engage. They're not the strongest elephants in the world, to be fair. <laughs> Don't mind me, just coming through. Yes, we may be out of control. They're out of control, but they're going into the right units. Jeez, they're going to just charge into another two. That's very unfortunate for Glacier. Um, they are going to now charge through. I think they're going to carry on into the Syrian archers, but then they're going to be hitting Romans. Oh, not good. This is not good. Uh, they sort of... That was lucky. They kind of turned away. I feel like they're not really out of control because that seems like a lot of control by the elephants to just peel off at the right moment, save their comrades uh, from being flattened. But they are getting focused down now. Only six of them left. And uh, Galatia has done a good job there in nullifying those elephants. That's why you need to take out archers, especially if you have elephants. Just so you, um, the elephants don't have anything to fear. But yeah, you're going to have to send these veteran legionnaires forward now. Because tribal warriors have broken through the line of defense. And they're now facing off a couple of Syrian archers. Who are now being javied in the back by their own troops. Uh, by their own allies. The veteran legionnaires. We're just here. Minding their own business. We'll have another volley of pillum, men. Throw, throw them at their shields so they go defenseless. Or into their backs when they turn around like that. That also works. Jeez, I did get a lot of them. Yeah, just carry on cheering while you're getting impaled. Jeez, oh god. Those poor men, just like, yes, we did it. And then you're like, oh god, I've got some massive spear in my chest. Well, these guys are, yeah. You're not cheering now, are you? Jeez, getting folks down. The Pillum, one of the uh, most technologically advanced weapons you can save the time period. Are you... A spear that nullify, uh, nullifies a shield. So clever. So simple, but so clever. Um, has this Roman general died, I wonder? He's fallen back all of a sudden. No, he's not. He's not dead. But he's uh, falling back because he's absolutely battered. I mean, and these cavalry here are now having to become line infantry and just fight uh, noble horse and legionnaires. And that's where they're going to start to lose when the legionnaires get involved. And Chosen Spears is going to come around and flank you, imagine. They're going to come off this uh, wall here. And yeah, there you go. The cavalry's going to have to try and fall back. And it's got a long way to go. I don't know if this one's going to get out. If the first one's going to get out in time. The second one might. They are in some real trouble here. The north is not looking too great either. The Praetorians are starting to drop. Yeah, 43 of them left. I mean, they're going to still route another unit. Absolute madmen, these Praetorians. It's such a thin line. Literally a one-man line now. Strung really thin. If there's, any, if there's a man that's hiding behind his comrade, he will be punished. I don't know how you can punish him right now. We're in the middle of a battle. But every man must be fighting him during this unit. There's no time to have a second rank. Let's watch this little duel. Can the Praetorium win? He's fighting. No. Oh, he can't. No. Publius. I don't know. That's a Roman name. He died. Rip and peace. But yeah. So the north there has kind of fallen. We've still got this Triari unit here that's losing. That's how nasty these units are. This is a really elite pre-Marian unit. Yes. But still really elite. It's one of the most elite units of uh, spears, certainly, that uh, Rome could feel. But it's getting beaten by... Uh, Galatian Legionnaires. I know it's spears versus swords. But I mean like the cost difference as well. It's 800 for that Galatian Legionnaire. And the uh, Triaria is like getting on for a thousand I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. No it's not getting on for a thousand. Maybe getting on for like 900 maybe. I don't know. I need to check the, the actual money for it. But it's certainly more than the uh, Galatian Legionnaire. Put it like that. So basically what I was trying to say with that costing is a great trade for Glacier, but it's not good for Rome. <laughs> As like a Galatian legionnaire just comes around the back and murders these Syrian archers and then he's going to condemn these two Praetorian guards that are still holding here. Really, are still fresh. I don't know how long they've actually been engaged, these two units. Like, they, they there was a long standoff for a while. Um, I don't think too long because, uh, these. I mean, these, to be fair, these tribal warriors are losing. You do think whether, like, left un uninterrupted, these... 
two Praetorians might route all those tribal warriors. Obviously, they're not going to be left uninterrupted, but they could have been. I mean, it looks like Rome is going to... Uh, I'm going to say, looking at the balance of power, Rome might lose this one. Um, unless there's a huge turnaround all of a sudden. Cavalry here trying to do some damage to this Galatian Legionnaire, but I mean, Galatian Legionnaire is such a strong unit. I mean, they did write one in fairness. It's such a strong unit. Oh, good charge into the archers here. That is going to be nasty. And there's another unit coming in, and then a tiny unit. Yeah, you should route most of this stuff. They're actually going to route that. Uh, well, they were routing that one. Now there's a uh, noble horse in here. The Sokia Extraordinary is so strong. I mean, it's strong in this battle anyway. I've had, I've seen battles where they get destroyed pretty much, uh, but they have done well. I'll be interested to see how many kills they get. I don't know why they're falling back. They don't really need to. They probably could have killed all those archers. Maybe they're going for. Oh, they're going to go for a charge on these ones, these slingers. Let's see what happens. Well. I say let's see what happens. It's obviously going to be that what happens. Just mince through the unit. Um, but yeah, these archers are now chasing them down. They're probably going to cut them down. Ever so slightly. These, they are very tired. They've seen a lot of action. Rome is literally trying to run back these units. Get these armored legionnaires back. That's 147 men. It's one of the freshest units still on the battlefield. Um, there's Evercai over here still holding. You might want to move one of these somewhere else. Yeah, it looks like Rome is in a really sticky position here now. Well, more than sticky. He's in a dire situation right now. Veteran Legionnaires. I don't know what happened here. These units, like... I don't know. The Ro the allies, certainly, for this Roman team have not been great. The uh, main Roman players are okay. Yeah, the allies have done him dirty. Certainly not as defended as well as they could have. They're certainly... I mean, they shouldn't have allowed Tylus and Glacier really to come in that north side. Just alone. Should have at least made them uh, fight at the walls because that's where you're going to get the most kills. It's where Arverni like, died the most. So Arverni's still in this game but only just because Galatia saved him. Should always fight for the walls. Gets you so many kills as a defender. Especially when you're outnumbered 4-3. to three. You want to be getting every advantage possible and the wall advantage is uh, very key in this game. So key. Especially Rome's walls, because I, I said this is a kill zone here. Um, that's kind of a kill zone. It's pretty hard to come and assault Rome. There's not many areas you can assault. And then the one in the, there's, I mean, there's that area there which you can assault as well. Um, that's not a bad spot. It's probably one of the better ones. This is also not a bad spot here. Um, again, though, it's pretty hard. There's not many ways to come out. You only can go up that way and that way. And if defended by Rome, especially. It's pretty rough, to, uh, pretty rough going. Yeah, so it looks like, well, that's kind of it for the defense, the fight, like this first defense. It's going to come down to a final desperate defense by Rome. Glad to see they're going to stand to the end. These, these legionnaires are also standing to the end. They will not get out of here. It's a shame units don't fight to the death because uh, this unit would certainly be one of them. As a, You're just not going to get out of here. You're going to get captured probably mutilated in some way um, probably losing your head if you're not already going to lose your head in battle so you might as well take a few barbarians with you if I was uh, still in this fight uh, I'd be throwing bricks now currently from the top of this temple onto the bottom down there. Best way to fight, I'm telling you. There you go. Veteran Legionnaires, uh, dead, gone. And then this unit's not even looking the right way, so that's not helping. This is what I mean. The defenders aren't, like, the allies of the main defender aren't really doing uh, him any, like, any help. They're just going to stand and look the way. Oh, please tell me these guys are out of ammo. Uh, yes, they are They are out of ammo. They have just swords out. Thank God. They're still going to engage these Praetorians and probably get a few kills. Just because they're looking the wrong way. 
I'm sure these Praetorians might lose, actually. Uh, just because, uh, well, there's so many numbers left. Have they actually got all their generals? They have got all their generals. Only just. Well, I'm going to speed up for the be benefit of the video. Um, like, I mean, there's not much to see, really. I mean, it's just Rome turning around and fleeing. I mean, you just got a lot of, uh, I mean, yeah, what's happening here? See, honestly, was Rome going to honestly defend this like, area just because it's got barricades or something? I don't know. Should have really tried to get this unit back. It was going to be hard, but you should have tried. Because now what they're left with, we're left with a couple of tiny units of Evercarty, some uh, Histati, and some Vigiles, and some Bows. Uh, and that, uh, that auxiliary unit is still over there. 137 men, still there. Stupid, really. Yeah, we'll just fast forward quickly. And we'll see what happens. I mean, they need to move their general, whoever this is, whichever player this is. Needs to move his general. He's in a bit of an issue. Praetorian's taking at least one more unit with them. Taking some Celtic Slingers. Somehow they got a unit in behind these tribal warriors. I guess they can get yeah sneak around here. That is rough, rough to see. Praetorians fighting. They should be at the last defense. They shouldn't be here. Don't know why they stopped here. There was plenty of time to get back. These are probably the guys that've been fighting all the way over here for ages at this main point. They took a lot of them down here. This was a good defense as well by the Romans. To be fair, they had a lot of troops there, but. Don't know really what happened. What exactly? They should have, like I said, shouldn't have given up that area because it just meant they had to defend so many more areas, so many more walls. They're going to shoot them to death, aren't they? Who knows? This Legatus though is just looking the wrong way. He's just like, yeah, I don't even care. Don't even care if I've lost this battle. I'm not going to give you the honor of looking the right way. I mean, these Celtic things, surely they're just going to get some... Yeah, here they go. Get into their stance. Oh, this is going to be painful. Have they got slingers? Like, slings out? No, they still got swords out. I expect them just to fire into the back of these guys and just kill them off really quickly. Surely that's what Tylus is just going to do. Uh, Tylus and... Well, what is the glacier? Just charge in. Overwhelm these lines. They've done it already all, all so far this day. I mean... Could do it over here as well. I mean, they look like they're just getting men ready. What are they doing here exactly? I don't know. I guess just covering the flanks. I mean, there's going to be a cavalry charge up the back here by these noble horse. Maybe they're just fully encircling Rome before going in for the kill. Poor Rome. But let's see the noble horse. Let's try and get to the front. There we go. The front man. All he can see... Is some levies? That is honestly some levies. Oh, he's dead. Oh my gosh. Yep, yeah, they got quite a few. The first few died. And here comes the next charge. Yeah, these levies couldn't do enough. Yeah, that's a shame. These are basically what you'd see as the citizens of Rome. They're just like, yep, yeah, okay, we're dead. Uh, we tried our best. And the general's coming in. He's going to try and surround them. But that's just not going to happen. Um, and there you go. Massive chain route. Jeez. Yeah, wow. That was a huge chain route. Okay, and Glacier, yeah, it's just going to come in for the kill. Jeez, wow. What happened there? That is a chain route to, like, end all chain routes. Like, Rome just lost his general, then bang, gone. Legos is breaking. Jeez, this is the only one that's going to stand, and it's the one right at the front. An interesting decision. Yeah, there you go. Evercarty breaking 130. Getting cut down. Are these guys going to throw a javi throw? I don't know. They might have, might be out. These This cavalry will break instantly. Just poke them in the back. They're not even looking the right way. And there you go. They broke. And they're going to get cut down and die. And then there goes the other one. And then what's left? Is there honestly going to be that these units over here, isn't it? It's going to be auxiliary infantry all the way over here. That's just silly. I may just... Well, that is it, basically, for the siege. Rome has uh, fallen to the barbarians. Um, 
I will probably just cut it now because there's only just two minutes. Just probably they're gonna have to walk all the way over there to take out the auxiliary unit. Um, so I'll just cut it and I'll show you the end result in a moment. So there you go. It's a costly enemy victory for Rome. Um, yeah, I could probably say that it was a fairly good defense in the end by Rome. They did kill a lot of their uh, troops, but in the end, it just wasn't quite enough. Um, so this was sent in by Fireball. Um, so thank you to him for sending this in. It was an excellent siege. Um, shame that like I guess some of the decisions by his allies were not so great. I think uh, like falling back and giving up some of the walls was not the smartest of ideas. But uh, let's look at uh, let's look at Fireball's army first, which is the one with the elephants in. So he's got uh, his elephants did get two hundred seventy eight kills, which is not bad for this unit. It's not an atrocious uh, like amount of kills. Like a little bit more maybe worth the like the money that you put into it. I just wanted another legionnaire to be honest. Um, his cavalry, I think, did not do as well. They needed to get into the hundreds. This is very elite cavalry. So getting them would have been uh, up would have been better. Like two of his archers didn't even get any kills. That's not good at all. But another one did get 185, but I mean these two arch units should have got more. His Praetorians did okay, which is expected. 216 and 264, uh, and 164. Sorry, um, his Evercai 195. Yeah, the best one out of the bunch there. And then we'll move on to a Morosa. Um, who was playing with the Armoured Legionnaires and he had a variety of stuff. He also sent the stuff outside the walls, I'm pretty sure, because he's the one with the auxiliary infantry here. Um, don't know what the decision was there or the thinking was there, but just kind of condemned a few of his own units. Um, his best unit was 142. And, yeah, that's uh, that's not surprising, to be honest. He made some interesting decisions. But, he was, I think, he was also two teams by uh, Arverni and by Galatia. And then we have KMT, uh, who got uh, 177 kills with his Praetorian guy. He got 404 with that one, so that's excellent. That's very well done to him there. Um, his Veteran Legionnaires got 150, and another one there got 159. His Archers got 101. How did Morosa's Archers? Uh, Morosa's Archers got 104, so that's not bad either. Then we'll look at Peacekeeper, who's playing as the Alverni. He had one of the roughest uh, assaults initially, but he didn't get the least amount of kills, uh, surprisingly. His Noble Horse got... Uh, 417, that's very good. And his Chosen Swords, uh, 226 and 223. Uh, the best out of the bu of the bunch there. His archers kind of got focused down. Then we have uh, Jean-Luc Pierre, uh, who's playing as one of the Glacian armies. He got 177 kills with his uh, Celtic Onager. Um, his Slinger's got 107, and his archers got 138. Uh, his Glacian Legionnaire's got 216. It's the best one I'm seeing, 275, 324. Jeez. Okay, so they did very well, did his legions, which is no surprise. They're a solid, solid unit. Um, and look, you can just spam so many of them. And then um, we have the Tires player here, who's uh, SJ uh, General. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what we're going to go with. Something like that. Uh, I do apologize. Um, his Oswald got 211. His Cavalry got 178. Um, 147 there with his Slingers. And then the best of his tribal warriors um, is probably that 193 there. Um, so tribal warriors not doing as well as Glacian Legionnaires. Both like very uh, overpowered units, you can say, with, because of price and how good they are. Um, and then Big 13, who's playing as the other Glacian army. Um, didn't get so many kills, but he has a very fresh army left. I do believe he was the army that attacked from the north, um, I think. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but his best legionnaire unit got 116 kills, and his archers got 188, uh, and that's kind of it for him. Unfortunately, he didn't get so many kills; he was kind of late for the battle. But if you enjoyed legionnaires and you want to see more Rome 2 action, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show support. And until next time, legionnaires, bye for.